this video of a fly maggot using its body as a spring to catapult itself through the air. Now I don't know much about flies or maggots, but I filmed that video because I knew that maggot jumping like this had only been filmed in slow motion one other time. So before I explain more about what's happening in these videos, I want to show you more of them, more of this maggot jumping in super slow motion. The reason why these videos are scientifically interesting is these are lance flies, a group of flies that have before this not been known to jump. Last year, these larval gall midges were the first kind of maggots to ever have their jumps filmed in slow motion. In slow motion, you can accurately describe the speed and paths of their jump and also see which parts of the maggot's body unlock and release at the exact moment they start to jump. The gall midges latch two microstructured segments of their underbody together, which holds them in a loop while they build up internal pressure. When these segments slip loose, that stored energy is released and it flings them up and through the air. The maggots I filmed do it differently. They seem to be putting the ends of their bodies together and then releasing them right when they jump. But honestly, when I filmed it, I couldn't tell which end was ahead and which wasn't. I had to ask my friend Matt, who's a fly expert, to explain maggot anatomy to me. So fly maggots have lost most of the external hardened or sclerotized head structure that most other larvae of in other insects have. And all that you can see on the outside are the antennae, the palps, and the mouth hooks. So what we see here is the maggot using what looks like the mouth hooks to grab onto the posterior part or the tail end of the body uh, where they grab on and then exert pressure and then create this jump. Matt and I collected these maggots from a dead oak tree right in the middle of NC State's campus. They were living right under the bark, probably feeding off of a fungus that had infected the tree. It's nearly impossible to identify fly maggots as species or even family. The only reliable way, besides genetic sequencing, is to rear the fly to the adult stage. So that's what I did, and I filmed that. So this is what it looks like when a fly first emerges as an adult. It's a little hard to see in that time-lapse sequence, but how they break out of their puparium is they inflate this balloon-like structure that pops out of the middle of their head. They pump body fluid into their head and pop out the sac between their eyes called the telinum. The telinum is a structure that is used only during this part of the fly's life to push their way out of that pupil case. After they emerge, the structure recedes into the head, leaving only a trace of where it once was, called the telinal suture. Even with adult samples of these flies, it can be difficult to assign a species name. After looking at specimens under the microscope and being unable to identify the species, I took some high resolution images and sent them overseas to a world expert on the group. Through structures like the divots above the antennae and these tusk-like hairs on the face, uh, we were able to actually ID it to a specific species, Daisyops fibrosata. So this could be the start of a new project in the lab, describing more of the behavior and kinematics of these larval jumps. And what I like most about this project is these organisms came from the middle of campus, from a dead tree right there. And believe it or not, that's not the only cool thing we pulled out of that dead tree. Here's some footage of another larval insect from that same dead tree.
that jumping larval insect is even more interesting than this one. And we're way further down the research road on that particular project. So you have to subscribe to this channel to hear more about that story in the future. I forgot to tell you why they're jumping in the first place. Maggots are legless forms of insects and if they get preyed upon or if their habitat gets disturbed, they have this behavior potentially to get away really fast or to disperse really fast. So that's why they're jumping.